Hello there guys Okay, setting up the camera uh. Ow! Oh. Shit, shit Ah! No kishi show now, but uh, I'm gonna go and eat some food first. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Knights of Sidonia. In Japanese, it's called Sidonia no Kishi. <clears throat> Sidonia no Kishi is, how would I say, one of the best animes slash manga of all segment of the time never mind how i came across this sidonia no kishi was through the anime first the f uh, there are two two seasons to this uh, sidonia no kishi two seasons and one movie how it works is first season i watched it and i was very intrigued by it especially the opening music oh my god the opening music was awesome and uh, it's made the opening was the opening music was made by some uh, group called Angela, I think. So go check it out, Sidonia no Kishi or Knights of Sidonia first season. And from there, I went into reading the manga through some. Uh, we can get free manga from the internet, no problem. <coughs> then the second season came out, and I watched it. And of course, second season does not really end the. And the the story of Sidonia no Kishi, and I don't think there will be a third season or fourth season. The manga has already finished, I think about last year. So go do check it out. Nine stars out of ten. The anime that is. So let's go into a, a bit of discussion. <coughs> yeah, I haven't watched it. The two seasons, the an, the anime. Or read the manga, go check it out before you watch this uh, with this slash discussion. <coughs> so, uh, when I first watched it, of course, it's not dubbed. Okay, once you go into dubbing, the quality of the sound is not so good, the expression of the English voice actors might not be as, as fluid or as, as maybe emotional. Uh, no, no as peculiar I wouldn't use the word peculiar as special or as distinct as the Japanese voice actors uh, the voices from America seems like it's the like, same you know there's no like uniqueness to it but thank god they kept the, the sound effects for the alien the same the, the ally alien when that little tentacle comes out and you hear like like uh, like balloons when you like mash it together you get sub all types of like weird sounds sound of a balloon you know <coughs> <coughs> oh, that's me coughing <coughs> this is not the sound of the alien so that if you like uh, were interested in researching an anime you will realize that that is made by a beatboxer a, a girl uh, I think she was kind of like cute cute girl so make those special effect sounds for the alien when I first watched this anime it worked, there was no dub for it for uh, yeah there's no dub for it there was no English dub and last night I just concluded the first and second season of Knights of Sidonia in dub version if you want to watch this thing you got to watch the dub I remember back then when I was watching it with the sub you know Japanese voice actors uh, Japanese voice or Japanese language being heard and I had to read through it you miss a lot of the action the the they, they use CGI or uh, what's that thing called yeah CGI or uh, I'm not sure what that it's not cell drawn it's all CGI 
So you miss a lot of those what's happening and you might think, oh CGI, oh my god, that's not nice, it's not right, really drawn. And you might think it's not that emotional. But when you look at the characters, even though it's, uh, it's not CGI, it's some kind of other word for it. It's type of process. <coughs> it's something else. Uh, I forgot the name of this, this type of uh, animation, this technique. Uh, Computer-aided design? CAD? No, 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 it's something else. Polygon? Shading? Thing? Actually, I have no idea, I forgot already. One, one that, that term for this type of, of uh, animation, you forget about it. So this type of animation, you might think, oh, it does not express much at all. You can't see the expression well it's not expressed the characters are not expressing their their emotions well when you render it in cgi but if you look at a character the one that is androgynous or middle sex <coughs> she has that face and she can emote well uh, showing frustration by often the the cheeks and stuff like that getting confused it's is there so if you were to watch the Original voice, voice, uh, original Japanese language, and you just read the subtitles. You will miss all of the nuances, all the expressions, and all the action that's happening on screen because you just keep on like reading and and just uh, trying to like get the story out of the, the all out of the <coughs> the dialogue, and you are just missing the whole force. You're missing the trees for the forest. Is that how the phrase goes? So, <coughs> you want to watch the Dona no Kishi go for the dub version. When you hear the dub, even though it's not as good as the Japanese uh, dub, you'll be like getting more information, more expression, more emotion from watching what is happening on the screen instead of just reading the goddamn thing. So, the manga, I'm going to go back into the manga, I want to like give a second uh, reading of the manga. I know that it goes into into uh, uh, what kind of territory? Into a harem territory, the main actor and your... You. I got Mila Azul, M-I-L-A-A-Z-U-L. Nice. <coughs> so, uh, it becomes a harem in the manga. It's like the, there's one main, the main character, and a lot of girls or androids or whatever, all interested in his cock. His cock must must be uh, beer flavored or something. <coughs> or maybe it's because of his genetics, he exudes pheromones and makes all the the females and of course the androids and aliens attracted to him. So there's that groundbreaking story you know how manga is okay the main character would would like be attractive to the other opposite sex quite easily <coughs> uh, the designs of the robots are pretty awesome oh yeah now I remember it was the <coughs> I watched the first season and the second season then po <coughs> then I was so intrigued by the ending of the second season that I wanted to know what the fuck is going to happen next because it's so intriguing I jumped into the manga so I watched the first season then the second season and uh, cliffhanger at the second season oh my god he's got that second alien encounter inside his <coughs> second alien in his cockpit this time the first time they encountered the human hybrid was outside of the cockpit grabbing her putting her in the canister it's now the ending of the second season. He's got the alien inside his own cockpit. Uh, cockpit, not this cock. <coughs> inside the cockpit. So I was so intrigued. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? That's why I jumped into the manga. I want to read the manga and not wait for the third season. <coughs> it's been... It's been years. One, two years already. Since the second season came out. And since I don't hear anything about third season, so I don't think it will come out. That's why I don't think it will come out. But it's a very good anime. You get all the stories. Uh, the animation is well done. 
even though it is a cell cell shaded is it cell shaded animation this is one thing that i need to like cell shaded animation cell shaded animation is called uh. yep cell shading uh is it <coughs> i think that kind of like the whole whole movie is cell shaded so a lot of people like complain, oh, it's not enough like expression and stuff. You if you watch the Berserk, the new Berserk uh, anime, I watched the first season. I don't, I don't plan on going to the second season of uh, Berserk. But then again, you should go and watch the. I'm not watch. Read the manga Berserk. That is great shit. <coughs> the movies. I think the so far there were three movies. Did it justice. Very pretty. Very modern. But the the new anime, which which like Knights of Sidonia, uses shell shading, yeah, uses cell shading, CGI, computer generated <coughs> animation to the fullest. Did not do Berserk justice. Berserk was <coughs> the director, the camera angles, the action wasn't that good. <coughs> this uh, Sidonia Kish. Sidonia no Kishi is good, go watch it, it's worth your time. It's only two seasons, when you watch, each season has about 12 episodes, 12 episodes, yeah. So all together is 24 episodes, 24 episodes times about 20 minutes of, of uh, story. So it's, uh, it's not much, go watch it, it's great. Then from there, you'll be so intrigued about the story and the universe, that you'll jump into the manga, then... You will land, you'll be landed on a harem thing, you know, harem, uh, one guy and lots of girls interested in him. It's a harem type of uh, manga which, well, it was okay. Everybody in the comments will say, oh, I wish the, the shipping, the shipping has become, has become, has be, the shipping has begun. Shipping means relationship. I wish this main character was with this or with this one, or blah blah blah, and a lot of groups like against each other. These groups are uh, they want this main character to go with the alien, and this one, this group wants the main character to go with the, this human girl. So the shipping wars has begun. At first, I was thinking, what the hell is this ship? Then, recently, a couple of days ago, I put two and two together, and people have uh, said shipping means relationship. So, you learn something new every day, right? Ship is from relationship. <coughs> so, and of course, inside the internet, they will, they will put this name, X, this name. That means they want this couple to be together to become a reality while the story is ongoing. Sidona no Kishi is an exercise on mood. In the anime, you get a sense of the world you know they're living in the ship and they portrayed it really well the, the universe that they inhabit is well fleshed out even though it's like a pocket universe it's like universe around this ship is done well the mood is good the music is like very ominous very scary very subliminal it's like the the sound effects it's very good and you never hear this type of music outside of this anime it's very atmospheric it's like it's like a creepy thing that's going to happen something like something passes you by <coughs> it's like it's, would I say it's like a horror movie like alien or something like that <coughs> maybe it's it's a exercise in atmosphere creation using sound and of course animation. <coughs> the world that the the mangaka created, the mangaka I forgot what's his name. He also created Blame. Blame is going to be an uh, going to be an anime soon, I think, uh, coming soon. And of course, it's going to use the cell shading technique, like Sidonia, Sidonia no Kishi. So I guess all of these animes and uh, all these anime properties that is 
uh, made using this manga cars universe is done by one particular company that specializes in cell shading it's very interesting because when you do all these things from this this animation company did the property right by going bit by bit of what happens in the manga of course they did like uh, try to make a, a character more sympathetic by choosing to not uh, not include this scene in the anime what I'm trying to talk about is the character Hoshi Jiro who became uh, who died and became an uh, enemy and became the experiments and whatever she was I think giving a blowjob to one of the other main characters the evil bad guy with the long white hair Sephiroth like person so in the manga she was giving a blowjob yep it's that gritty or that dark but in an anime you did not see that scene at all so the anime did cherry pick the scenes to make this character more innocent more like a good fit for the main character as a love interest whereas in the manga it's more like reality this the girl that you like might be fucking the the, the top class fella or giving blowjobs and stuff like that it happens it, it, it just happens so I think that's about it there's nothing much else to say go watch it go watch the two seasons then go into the manga it's already ended the manga is finished already so <clears throat> it's good to I want to remember back what the fuck happened yeah I forgot already what the fuck happened in the manga so I want to go and read through the internet and find out so watch it Sidonia no Kishi or aka Kin Kishi no Sidonia right Nice of Sidonia or Kishi no Sidonia. It's very good. The anime. So start up with the the dubbed version, okay? The Eng English voice actors. Start with uh, the first and second season. The movie you can forget about it because the 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 one movie was a rehash of the first season in movie form in two hours. You might. I did not watch the movie, so I don't want to waste my time watching the movie because it's almost similar to watching the first season. And of course the movie does not have a dub version so I'm not gonna like read and hear Japanese the Japanese language. No 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 I don't want to even though it looks a bit nicer compared to the first season and they added a couple of scenes in it. I don't care about it. So I will just watch the first season, second season, dubbed and go and read the manga. See you peeps. Love you all.